Hey everybody, I thought I'd drop this review to make your week a little bit brighter. Boo. Come on. Ginger Runner. What is up everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner here for another Ginger Runner review. I'm pretty excited about this week's review. Uh, I wanted to drop it a few weeks ago, but I figured that after I dropped the headlamp review in October 2019, uh, many of you wouldn't come to trust me if you want to see what I'm talking about. You can go ahead and check out the video there. So yes, I have a headlamp to review, but I didn't want to drop it in October. Here we are in November. Really no better time to talk about it because the sun is setting earlier. It's rising later. Inevitably, at some point in the next couple of months, you're probably going to be running in the dark, whether that's in the morning or in the afternoon, which is why today we're going to be talking about a brand new product from one of the biggest names in the outdoor illumination game. From Petzl, it's the Ico Core. Oh. The Ico Core was provided for review by Petzl directly. Uh, I am under no obligation to say anything about it. I can say whatever I want. I get to express my opinions openly and freely as I always do. Let's go. So the Ico Core is a running specific headlamp from Petzl with a ton of new innovation uh, for outdoor enthusiasts. I have reviewed a ton of lighting gear from a whole myriad of companies. Petzl, Black Diamond, Ultraspire, Kigala, Nathan, uh, even just some generic Amazon brands. I have a whole box of random headlamps that I have somehow collected over the years. And honestly, a lot of them I just don't even touch anymore. Basically everything I've seen from headlamp manufacturers across the board is that they're trying to fit into three different categories. Is this headlamp light enough? Is this headlamp bright enough? Or does it last long enough? The problem is that in most cases, those headlamps only fit into two of those three categories. So when a company, Petzl in this case, claims to have changed the game and really innovated a headlamp design and at a reasonable price point, my first instinct is to be wary. I also know that my current setup does really well for those long efforts in the night hour, so I had to be impressed. I am. It's kind of cool. Let's talk about it. The Petzl Ico Core is a fascinating yet very simple solution that seems to address what I imagine Petzl was hearing from a lot of trail runners or road runners that run at night. This seems to be one of the first headlamps that I've seen that delivers a lot of lumens in a very lightweight design that sits on the head with minimal contact and cradles the skull in a pretty innovative way that reduces bounce, head fatigue and discomfort while delivering a powerful beam of light to illuminate the trail or road ahead. A lot of traditional headlamps carry the power source in the front, while the Ico Core follows in the Petzl Now's footsteps by implementing the rechargeable core battery in the rear. The Ico Core weighs in at a featherweight 80 grams. Uh, the advertising claim is about 79 grams. My scale tips it about one gram heavier. Who really cares? It's light. With the core rechargeable battery and the new AirFit suspension system, this thing is comfortable. The Ico Core can deliver three modes of lumen output, a nearly unusable six lumens that can last up to 100 hours of burn, a semi-usable 100 lumens with nine hours, and a hefty 500 lumens at max brightness that will last you roughly two and a half hours. You can always swap in three AAA batteries as backup for an additional two and a half hours of 350 maximum lumen goodness. This thing is versatile and it's fun. So what is it about the Ico Core that has me so excited? It makes me consider this a big game changer. Well, we're going to talk about that in today's review. As always, I talk about the things I like and dislike about a product. The Ico Core is no different. Let's get into it, starting as always with things that I like. AirFit. So this is their marketed uh, suspension system that actually allows this thing to fit over the head extremely securely and comfortably. I realize I've had this thing on the whole time. That's six lumens there, friends. Six, 100, 500. Ah. So the AirFit system, it consists of this semi-rigid water-resistant band that goes around the crown of the head here, in addition to the elastic stretchy band that allows you to adjust the overall uh, fit of the Ico Core. The lamp body here at the front of the headlamp is ultra thin. It also doesn't need any sort of heat dispersal just because of the number of LEDs that they're using. Uh, so you don't have this giant box on the front of your forehead that most headlamps suffer from. The primary like is that this headband has very minimal contact with the overall head. So if you suffer from headaches from a headband that's just too tight or the elastic band that just is a little too wide, this is super thin and narrow, uh, but still provides you with plenty of comfort and steadiness in the headband's overall fit on your head. You don't get a ton of bounce. You don't get a ton of movement once it's on. It's on. Balance. So this is pretty cool. Uh, the Ico Core takes some of the feature sets from the more expensive Petzl headlamp model, such as one of my favorites, uh, the Petzl Now, which has a battery in the back and a lamp apparatus here in the front. You can just 
tell the size difference between everything. The Ico Core reduces that footprint and overall weight by a huge margin compared to something like the Petzl Now. Since using the Petzl Now, which has been a workhorse for me for a number of years, I've much preferred having the battery in the back and the lamp body in the front. I think that even distribution really helps keep the weight evenly distributed on your head. It's reduced headlamp headaches for me, especially on longer efforts. In this case, it takes what's already great and just makes it extremely light and a lot more comfortable. It's a good thing. Build quality. So this is something that I'm really happy to see with this headlamp. Uh, I, I haven't really had a ton of problems with Petzl gear in the past. I, again, I still have my now. It still works incredibly well. Um, so they carry over that same build quality here into the Ico Core. Really durable plastics, really adaptable headband. Also just the design of it folding up into a flat package that fits neatly into its own pouch is a super cool feature. So now you can stash this in your hydration pack or any of your gear bags uh, with a minimal footprint, doesn't take up a lot of space, doesn't add a lot of weight. Petzl also wants to point out that the headlamp itself with the storage bag turns itself into a diffused light lantern that you can hang in your tent or something like that to provide you with a bit more ambient light. It actually works pretty well. I've never used that, but it is a cool detail that I'm I'm kind of glad that they incorporated. So yeah, I just think that the overall build of this thing is super smart. Um, I, I think they did a lot while also managing to keep it pretty simple. There aren't a lot of settings or anything that you need to worry about. It is pretty much a set it and forget it type of headlamp. Uh, just it's going to work. And finally, price. So this is one of those things that caught me off guard. When I got my review sample, put it through the paces, I've been using it now for a couple of months, I was thinking, yeah, this is probably gonna be like a $130, $140 headlamp. Uh, they're, they're talking about the marketing and all this stuff behind it. I, I was worried it was gonna be too expensive and that was gonna be a huge drawback. The Ico Core is an $89 headlamp and, and that really surprised me. It puts itself in a more affordable bracket for headlamps. I think you're gonna find all those items that are in that $20 to $40 range on Amazon. You're gonna find them even from Petzl themselves. They have lower priced headlamps. But you're getting a lot of really cool tech in this that I think is gonna work really well for trail runners, road runners, ultra runners, people who are going through the night that need something just comfortable, lightweight, that doesn't require a lot of fuss. So at 89 bucks, this is a pretty damn cool piece of kit. I will say you're gonna to wanna to buy a couple of batteries because it's not all campfires and s'mores. There are a couple of things that I dislike about the Ico Core. Let's talk about those now. Burn time. Okay, so uh, three different settings, six lumens, 100 lumens, or 500 lumens. And that is with the rechargeable core battery. The 500 lumens is pretty much the only real usable setting. 100 lumens will get you out in a pinch. Uh, I find that anything over 150 lumens is necessary, especially for trail running. 500 is gonna be that barrier where you're, you're gonna love it. Um, the problem is that that only lasts about two and a half hours. If you're doing an overnight ultra, if you're running a hundred miler, if you're running anything that you're gonna be out there for longer than two and a half hours, you're gonna need to bring extra batteries with you. The cool thing about the Ico Core though, is that you can swap in AAA batteries. Of note, that only gets you 350 lumens brightness and two and a half hours once again. So you're gonna need to get at least two additional batteries to get you through the night or a bunch of AAAs that you can stash in your backpack. It's not gonna get you as much brightness but it might get you through the evening. That is the ultimate downside of having a small package, a lightweight package, and a smaller rechargeable battery. You're just not gonna get the burn time that you would hope to have. Comfort. So this is gonna be a little bit nitpicky with this thing. It is comfortable on your head. I really truly enjoy the fit of this versus just standard elastic bands around your head. So while these air fit materials are bendable, durable, water resistant, they don't feature a lot of uh, padded materials or any sort of light foam. Because the band is thinner, the surface area is reduced. The points of contact are going to have more stress attributed to them. Up here in the front is where most of the pressure is applied because as you tighten this headband, it just wants to pull the uh, band a little bit tighter. It would be great to see some foam elements here along the forehead piece. After hours of use, it does cause a bit of discomfort. You end up having to adjust the tension uh, from time to time. The last thing I'll touch on with comfort in regards to this is just how it doesn't necessarily work with hats. So if you're like me and you run in hats, whether it's a flat bill or a trucker, the way it sits on your head, uh, the lens body here sits on the bill of the hat and you end up losing a lot of light just on the front and flat bill part of your hat. It works okay, uh, but not quite as well as like a traditional headlamp that sits the lens a little bit higher and a little bit more forward on the bill of the hat. And my final dislike, details. So these are, again, really nitpicky types of things, but they're all the sort of small nuances of the headlamp that I noticed that sort of 
uh, disagreed with me. First, I love that the lamps in the front rotates 180 degrees. This way you can wear the headlamp around your neck, which is kind of cool. So you can rotate this uh, in so many different angles. But the more you do that, the more you rotate through, the less it wants to stay in one particular location or angle. And so what ends up happening is if you bump it or if you bounce too hard with it, uh, the headlamp can adjust a little bit. So you're constantly having to adjust on the fly. The tension adjustment, this elastic band just doesn't want to stay locked. So no matter how you adjust the tension, uh, it is susceptible to adjusting on the fly without you actually touching it. Getting to the battery itself is super tedious. Having to peel away that plastic back layer uh, just to get into the battery. Finally got there. Um, it is kind of a pain in the ass. And finally, clicking it closed for storage. The headlamp piece and the battery are actually supposed to click together and then you fold it up onto itself. It's actually pretty easy to do. It's designed to stay click closed, but the second you add any sort of tension to it, it unclips. I wish that was more of a solid connection. It can potentially turn on while in a bag. But ultimately, that's it for my dislikes of the Ico Core. So in conclusion, this is a huge step in the right direction for night running illumination. Petzl did something pretty dang cool and innovative here. I'm really happy to see it, and especially at an $89 price point. Not only will this surprise a lot of you who are used to more traditional headlamp apparatus, apparati, but at that $89 price point, it's a super cool piece of kit that you can add to your ultra arsenal. Of course, you can go snag headlamps off Amazon for super cheap. Many of you have, and uh, I'm all for that. If you can save a couple of bucks and you just need to get something bright, there's plenty of opportunities for you to do that. And even a lot of the bigger names offer more affordable options for headlamps. I get it, but it's the fit it's the balance and it's the build quality that really does set the Ico Core apart. And it is, uh, it's just a really fun piece of kit that I'm certainly going to incorporate into my lighting setup from here on out. One last caveat is that I am now a full multi-light convert, meaning uh, I highly recommend having multiple lights when running at night. So whether that's a headlamp and a waist light or some sort of alternate angle of light sourcing, this becomes a part of that team. So I will always recommend having multiple light sources. I really like the Ultra Spire 300 waist light. Having that many lumens uh, coming from that different angle provides you with a lot more depth perception. Um, having a headlamp in combination with that is a wonderful sort of combo, giving you the best of everything. Let's get a little bit more specific. Build quality. I already mentioned it's great build quality, certainly up to Petzl standards. This thing will last you a long time. Uh, you'll just need to carry extra batteries. Comfort, this is where this headlamp soars amongst a lot of headlamps out there. It, you're not dealing with one elastic band that will stretch out over time or collect a lot of moisture, sweat. This stands on its own and uh, sits on your head quite nicely, hugging your skull in a really comfortable and innovative way. Fit, I have a huge noggin and this thing fits quite well. I only have to pull the tension cord a little bit. If you have any sort of layer on your head, like a buff or a hat, uh, you'll have plenty of room to sort of adjust. It also is designed to work with some Petzl helmets if you are a night mountaineer, rock climber, something like that. So that uh, is something that you'll definitely want to check as far as fitness is concerned. But for those of us with big noggins, this thing works quite well. Price at 89 bucks. Again, I, I just think it's a really good price point for the quality and the amount of gear that you get here. Uh, it's half as much as a lot of Petzl's more extravagant headlamps. So that's a good thing. And finally, looks really not applicable in this case because it's, you know, a freaking headlamp. Bringing us to our final criteria is the Petzl Ico Core a buy, try, or a why? Solid buy. This is one of those pieces of kit that I'm really excited about. It's not at a crazy high price point. I think it will suit many of you quite well. And for those who don't like wearing headlamps when you're running through the city or something at night, this is a really good option because it is lightweight and it fits your head pretty well. So uh, I highly encourage you to check this out if you're looking for a new piece of illumination gear. So that, my friends, is it for today's review. Uh, if you want to find out more information about the Petzl Ico Core or get one for yourself, I do have links in the description that will take you over to Running Warehouse. They are affiliate links. They help the channel out. They cost you nothing additional. So uh, if you want to help support us, use those links. Um, go grab one for yourself. If you liked this review, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash thegingerunner. Click that little notification bell to be alerted anytime we upload a new review, a new film, or when we go live. And of course, social media links right over there where we are on social media. At the bottom there, patreon.com slash thegingerunner is how you can continue to support this channel as well as getting some pretty awesome perks on the back end. This year, we started a new show called Daily Brew, which is our daily live stream over a cup of coffee or over a beer. 
If you want to join that show, you have about 190 episodes you can go get caught up on. We, again, are going live every day. So that's patreon.com slash the ginger hunter. We would love to have you join the GR crew. There's also a really cool Discord server and an amazing community of supportive individuals from across the world. So please consider joining the GR crew. We'd love to have you. Mm, that's it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope you are getting out there training hard, virtually racing harder, and partying the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys next week for more fun. Bye-bye.